how can i become a front end developer according to chat gpt for me to become a front end developer i need to learn html css javascript master some front end frameworks and libraries such as react gain some hands on experience learn responsive web page design familiarize myself with version control stay updated with the trends build a portfolio collaborate in a network and continuous learning in this video you will learn about similar kind of prompts for increasing your overall productivity and learning new things in a very short duration hello everyone let us delve deeper and ask more specific questions to chat gpt but before we begin don't forget to like subscribe and share this video with your friends hoping to learn chat gpt also do let us know in the comments if you have any questions suggestions or requests for more information and we will be happy to incorporate it in the next video for instance let us ask what are the top 5 books on java let's see the books that it has suggested there's effective java head first java java the complete reference java concurrency in practice and clean code head first java effective java i have personally read and they are pretty good remember that programming books can only complement your learning process but hands on is something that you have to do this is this is a very good response let us build on top of this and inquire that tell me some key take aways from the book head first java once again we receive a very comprehensive answer the book covers various topics such as object oriented programming java syntax and language features gui programming java apis design patterns and practical examples let's explore some general questions like how can i become a front end developer according to chat gpt for me to become a front end developer i need to learn html css javascript master some front end frameworks and libraries such as react gain some hands on experience learn responsive web page design familiarize yourself with version control stay updated with the trends build a portfolio collaborate and network and continuous learning okay and it also tells me that becoming a front end developer is a journey that requires consistent practice perseverance and passion for learning now let's consider more specific examples we can request chat gpt to provide us with a shell command such as finding the names of all jpg files in a directory and writing them to a text file please give me a shell command on finding all jpg files and writing them to a text file i personally love this response even if you aren't well versed in linux commands you can easily find the exact instruction you need to solve the problem additionally chatgpt explains how the command works line by line providing you a very comprehensive answer like what is find what is type f what is name what is i grep what how you can redirect the filtered output to a text file and it also tells me that after running this command you should find a text file named this in the current directory unless you specify a different directory for the output file the file will contain the list of jpg file names found in the specified directory and its subdirectories furthermore we can ask chatgpt to provide us with git commands for example we can inquire to determine the number of lines of code committed to a git repository chatgpt can help to do some creative tasks for example if you want to start a business and you need some name suggestions for a revolutionary online shopping app so let's ask suggest some attractive names for an online shopping application it has suggested so many names for the online shopping application that i want to build 
their shop zen chickart shop ease deal makers it has also told me to choose a name that aligns with my brand target audience and the overall theme of the online shopping application these are just few examples of prompts that you can use to interact with chatgpt you can ask questions in your own way edit the questions that we have seen so far or get creative with it and ask whatever you feel like you want to get out of it by the way if you want to learn about generative ai in far more depth and detail than what i'm covering here we have a lot of courses of ai and ml from top universities in india and the world link is pinned in the comments go check it out now let's go to job applications when it comes to applying for, to jobs there are a lot of things that you need to do for example setting up your resume uh, creating cover letters and then practicing your interviews for your specific job profile like a front end developer a back end developer or a java developer can be anything or an architect as well so chatgpt can provide various forms of assistance in this for example you can request it to write a resume for you based on provided information you have to simply specify your experience in coding for example i am going to specify i have 5 years of experience in html css javascript and react i want to create a tech savvy i want to create a tech resume for the top companies in india please help me make my resume let's see the response that chatgpt gives us it has created a generic basic resume layout that includes my name my contact information there is a summary that it has given highly skilled and motivated front end developer uh demonstrated expertise in building responsive web applications then it has given me a format for my experience my company name location and a few pointers it has also mentioned restful apis without me even mentioning it in my prompt and it has mentioned that i have mentored junior developers when you can have multiple experiences and then it has given me the list of skills that i have that is html css javascript react redux git testing and debugging agile methodologies education and references it has given me a note that i have to tailor the resume to the specific requirements and preferences of the companies that i'm applying to highlight relevant achievements projects and skills that showcase your expertise in front end development also ensure that your resume is well organized error free and visually appealing let me ask that i want to apply to a startup that works on an online shopping application this startup has requested for a cover letter along with my resume please help me write the cover letter let's see if it has remembered the context and if it tells me that i want to apply for a front end developer or not as you can see here it has given me a template for a cover letter and it has automatically assumed that i'm applying for a front end developer position for this company and i have a strong background in front end development particularly in online shopping applications and it has remembered that i have expertise in html css javascript and react and i focus on creating responsive user friendly interfaces what it does for us is give us a generic template for us to build on this is not exactly what i was going for but i can edit it obviously if i give more details about my experience and my background it is going to give me a much more detailed answer about it let's try to understand if we can simulate an interview 
with ChatGPT. Let's simulate a technical interview. Act as a technical interviewer and give and ask five questions on front end development. Please note that these questions should be based on the first round first round that is a technical round it has not only given me a question but it also gives me the expected answer then it has given me other questions on css uh, performance of a web page then what are the key differences between css grid and Fle flexbox how can you handle cross origin resource sharing in JavaScript? It has given me expected answers for all the questions. If you are unsure of an answer, if this answer is not sufficient for you, you can ask for clarification or the solution. Let us ask, give me a detailed answer for question number one. You can see here that it has not only given me explanation on null, and undefined, it has also given me a simple example and syntax for both the keywords. It tells me that understanding the differences between null and undefined is crucial for proper variable assignment, error handling, and ensuring the desired behavior of your JavaScript code. These examples that we have seen so far showcase how ChatGPT can be a valuable tool to increase productivity and accomplish some of these smaller mundane tasks more efficiently. You could have done it by yourself, but now you have a strong base to build on top of. However, it is important to remember that it is not a replacement for human expertise. These functionalities that we have seen will require human interference because you need to cross-examine and you need to verify if the answer is sufficient or correct.